this is kept D.A. Jacob. Thanks a lot, Kevin. And they've proven that it works. And they're looking for more. David, thank you. Clark, the focus tonight has to be on the front court matchup. It figures to be a battle of big men down low. Well, you know, Kevin, no question about it. Go. These are two very talented teams in the post. I mean, each used to owning the advantage in the paint. And I'm very interested to see the chess match inside tonight. Now the starting group for the visitors. And for Milwaukee. Giannis and Lopez hold down the post for him. Holiday out there with lights out, and it's Matthews in at the three spot. Given the size disadvantage, you have to have a lot of confidence to take that shot. And you know what he does. I mean, in the NBA, you've got to have ways to score over defenders of all sizes. Here's E.D. Second chance shot, and it's good on the way in. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. You've got to work harder on the glass. Yes, the lights out. Sinks the triple. You know, this is what happens when you combine center size with developing point guard skills. Giannis running the offense to perfection right there. Here's E.B. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Taking it up strong against size. He does not lack for confidence. That's well done there. I mean, don't even give him a chance to get to the block. Get in tight and finish at the rim. We play just over a minute here in the first. Mark, if you take a look at the superstars on this Bucks team, they are extremely selfless. Yeah, they really are. That's one of their great attributes. They just want to win. The pieces fit well together. Doesn't matter how they do it, who does it. They're all in it to win championships. A total team mindset. To the middle. It's deflected. It's so about it's a Kumbo. And Holiday kicks to Matthews. Outside Holiday. Tipped away. From downtown, Giannis grabs the miss. Bucks have gone two or three here to start out the game. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And now in his 14th NBA season, just one all-star appearance for Drew Holiday, but that belies his greatness as a player. Second free throw, no good. You know, Greg, you can make the case Drew Holiday is the prototypical two-way guard. And, you know, and defense can sometimes go overlooked. Just one all-star game, but... Drew's impact perhaps greater than some other players with multiple all-star seasons. So close to getting the block there. You, you can live with those calls because you'd rather have a guy playing aggressive instead of playing it safe. Giannis passes to Lopez. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. To the left wing. Guarded by Holiday. And it's sent back by Lopez. Great timing on Lopez's part there to squat down that attempt. You know, you can't say enough about how important Brooke Lopez was to the Bucks 2021 title run. He gave that team an element they needed to get over the top, particularly as a rim protector and a guy who could score when needed. The visitors with the ball. Four-point game. Here's lights out for the three. The kick out to Holiday. Right wing, shot clock at five. A three-pointer is right on target. Eight points for lights out. When Lopez Clark arrived in Milwaukee in 2018, it was a pretty good union, wasn't it? I agree, Kevin. I mean, he opened up their offense with his ability to stretch the floor as a big guy who can knock down threes. And then he really improved defensively and became an elite 
rim protector. The Bucks became a league power when Brooke Lopez arrived. And the title came just a few years later. No coincidence. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. What a play there. The hoop plus the harm. Yeah, great concentration there. Hung in there. He didn't let that contact throw him off at all. Stayed focused on the rim, knew he was going to get hit, and still was able to finish. Passes it to lights out. Poke loose. One fifty-eight left in the first quarter. Shot from 16. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That one is off. No luck that time either. Bucks trailed by four. Outside Matthews. Bucks passing it around. Let's the three fly. And Drew Holiday. The bucket on the assist by Matthews. Boy, from three-point range, Holiday can really be effective now. He's worked on that part of his game over the years and forces the defense as a result to have to come out and guard him at times. to the right side. Down to five on the shot clock. You know, one reason Giannis has won Defensive Player of the Year is his agility and mobility. He can stay in front of guys and stay connected to shooters, too. And Matthews gets it to go. Boy, from the looks of it, it appears the defense is fine with him taking that shot, but he makes them pay when they do. Kumbo defending to the paint. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Outside Matthews. The pass to lights out. And to the Kumbo inside. And it's blocked. And he stays with it. Goes back up. That shot missing. And I love the way he uses his size there to make sure he gets that board. Gets that one to fall after missing his first two. One for three from the field. And when the size advantage is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. Lopez finds Holiday. A three ball. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. Extending out the range, Mr. Holiday drew from way out there. The first quarter all wrapped up, and it's been an ex And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Bucks, guys. Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. Yeah, you know, you have a guy in there blocking a bunch of shots or multiple players blocking shots. It causes the offense to think twice when they go up for shots in there. It's blocked, and it's out of bounds. The Bucks able to retain possession here. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. And in a close game, blocks like that are so clutch, and that could be a real difference maker here tonight. Pass to lights out. Just five to shoot. Here's Ibaka. And it's lights out with the foul. That's his first foul. Guarded by Holiday. Rocket six takes the 13-footer. 
And something that's been on the uptick in the NBA is free throw shooting. League-wide, Clark, teams are having more success from the stripe than ever before. The 2020s are on pace, Kevin, to be the best free throw shooting decade in the history of the game, with skilled players now favored relative to the old school bangers. I mean, everybody pretty much has to be able to knock down shots to be effective as a player in today's game. So the free throw shooting percentage is going up. Not much of a surprise to me. Lopez finds Matthews. The Bucks making a switch here. Wara checked in. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Just five on the clock. Shoots it up. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. The Bucks shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Yeah, a year ago, though, Kevin, 78% conversion rate from the free throw line. So that's a nice all-around effort. They should be in front right now, but he'll be relieved not to have come up totally empty there. All oh, the officials are all over that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without foul. And the second free throw, good. And here's Holiday who will bring it up for Milwaukee. In the second quarter, they've given up just three points. Pass to Nora. Pass to lights out. There's the pass to Nora. From the arc. That's no good. Misses his first shot of the night. Gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Lopez grabs the board. You can see he just rushed that a little bit. Lost the focus, I think. Here's lights out. Misses off the right iron. Being 43% from the field. Here's E.B. The rebound by the Bucks. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Here's Holiday, and the Bucks miss again. He is the epitome of a seasoned veteran. Drew Holiday has performed at a high level no matter what uniform he's had on. His three pointers off the mark. The Bucks trail from deep three point range. Milwaukee, no good that time either. And about Drew Holiday, he's got that championship mentality. No doubt about it, Greg. I mean, he established that with the Bucks winning the title that late in your career, especially after the career he's had. It's got to feel good. I mean, by far, one of the hardest workers in the game, Drew Holiday. Nailed from three-point land. The D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Here's Nora. Good on the seven-footer. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Out to the wing. Puts one up from 19. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Lopez has got four rebounds now tonight. Holiday looking over the floor. Pass to lights out. And they get it back. Pass to Nora. Tries again. And oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot two. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you go to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. He shot two free throws in the game, made one and missed one. Antetokounmpo's checked in for Serge Ibaka. Gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. There's 126 left to play here in the half. It's deflected. Down low. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. He's made three of his four free throw attempts in the game. 
and going back to his performance at the line last year, guys, 84% as a free throw shooter. Yeah, you know, that was one spot where they didn't have to worry about him at all. I mean, at the free throw line, he was automatic. 110 left in the second quarter. To the inside. Lights out, passes to Holiday. Passes it to Nora. Here's Lights out. Six to shoot. And the pass to Holiday. They get it back. And to Takumbo. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. Persistence pays for Giannis there, using his athleticism and those long arms to collect second chance opportunities for his team. And starting to send guys to the line way more than they need to. Let's get some good position defense going here. That should be the emphasis and get away from the sloppy fouls. Wesley Matthews checked in for the Bucks. Six seconds left in the first half of the game. Five on the clock. They could use a bucket. And that's collected by Drew Holiday. Outside Matthews. And that's good for Monte Kumbo on the assist by Matthews. Matthews has got four assists in the game. Goes up on the wing. You know, one of the things that makes Holiday such a terrific defender is his long arms. I mean, he excels at using them no matter who he's defending. Well, he left his mark on that first half with his quick hands. Great sense of timing to pile up the steals. Well, I thought it was a great defensive performance for him so far. He's aware, he's alive, he's alert, quick to react to everything that's going on around him. Can't do it much better than that. Giannis and Lopez hold down the post for him. Lights out out there with Holiday, and it's Matthews in at the small forward. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. Yeah, I, I like how confident Matthews is down low. Impressive work by him drawing contact inside. And he sinks the second. Under the Kumbo defending. Giannis grabs the miss. Bucks leading by seven. That shot off. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. And that's what those alley-oops will do for a team. Ignition switch ignited. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. Lopez covering. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's on Brook Lopez. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. Old school D right there. Just telling them no easy layups. It's as simple as that. And that's what you expect from them. He hits the second from the line. Bucks leading by six. And Holiday kicks to Matthews. Gas to White's out. Third quarter of basketball, about a minute and a half in. Pass to Holiday. Hits the jumper in space. Holiday's got the lead up to eight now for the Bucks. Well, that's a nice up tempo play from Holiday. Got the rock and didn't waste any time finding the shot. That's tipped. 
Has it, the lights out. And it's blocked. Guarded by Holiday. And it's in. Basket number six for him thus far. He has only missed two shots from the floor. And you got to love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grind it out game. Now the pass to Giannis. The turnaround jumper. Count it. On the Kumbo's got six. You know, I think you got to push Giannis further away if you're the defender there. I mean, he's just too big of a threat inside. Lopez covering. It falls for his seventh bucket of the contest. He's seven for nine. Major dominance, and it comes so easily for him. Fantastic at getting to his spots on the floor. Back to Holiday. Matthews scanning the floor. Pointer, and he's good on the three ball. Holiday's got five points now this quarter. Matthews has a nice feel, guys, for when a teammate has a clean look, gets him the ball. He lobs it up. And, and the definition of teamwork right there on that alley -oop. And Greg, what about the finish? Bringing it down with some Impressive. thunder. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I think the pass was even better. I mean, that was room service delivery at its finest. To the Kumbo, no good gotten four of the first five second half shots to fall 80 percent since the break got that bucket in in no time at all now just a four point milwaukee lead and i don't care how far from the bucket he is you've got to have a man on him he's just too good from deep and milwaukee calls their first time out of the game and the bucks with some changes Wara checked in, and it's Carter in for Drew Holiday. Left side out of the Kumbo, and the layup is good. Eight points for him. Boy, the overwhelming strength of Giannis just excels at fighting his way through the defense. Very impressive. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about. Threatening with that attack. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. You know what, guys? Honestly, I didn't think he'd win that battle. I mean, that's a lot of height to give up. Serge Ibaka, he's checked in for the Bucks. Giannis passes to Nuoro. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Under Kumbo kicks to Carter. Good. And it's Giannis picking up the assist. Under the Kumbo's got three assists in the game. To the wing right side. It's tipped. Yes, the lights out. There's the lob at the Kumbo. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley oop. And he dunks it down. Oh, he got fancy with that one. Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. And I like it. I mean, some coaches might want to see just a sure handed lay in there, but for me, I don't mind a little extra. And another great look at the 2K drop. And that's a thing of beauty. Certain plays, almost no words. You just sit back and appreciate. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Ibaka. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejections. Wow. Such great timing. Defensive awareness, too. When you have to face a defender that can reject you like this, it certainly can change your approach. There's 48 seconds left in the third quarter. Launches it. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Now just a one-point Milwaukee lead. 
And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Justin Worrell. Nineteen seconds left to play in the third. Lock at six. Let's it go from deep. They get it again. And that one's good by Giannis. Andre the Kumbo's got ten points. Really strong rebounding on the interior, and he gets the easy putback. Fades and shoots. Count it good. And really, that's what you want every time down the floor. A simple, high-percentage shot. And as we finish the third quarter, it's still close. Both teams trading baskets. Milwaukee on top, leading by a prime assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. He's covered by Matthews. A floater again with the block. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six block. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Defense has Giannis well covered, but he gets physical right back and draws the foul in the act of shooting. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Milwaukee. Well, you know, they've been tremendous, I think, when it comes to sharing the basketball, you know, getting guys involved on the plays and creating offensive opportunities for everybody. Equal opportunity offense is fun to watch. And they've also been steady from the three-point line and doing a good job creating room for their shooters and then converting. And both free throws, good for Giannis. He is creeping up in those all-time conversations. Giannis has won regular season and finals MVP, plus defensive player of the year. Quite the resume, and he is not done for a while, folks. Deflects the pass. Here's lights out. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Yeah, nice, strong finish there. Nearly a three-point opportunity. Full throttle, pedal to the metal, attacking basketball. I like that. And good on the second, so he makes them both. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. He's covered by Matthews. Clock at four. Knocks it loose. Fires it up. And he banks in the layup. 24 points for him. And there's no quit when it comes to battling there until the final whistle. What a putback. Understands his role, does his job, and he did it right there. The timing couldn't have been better. Outside Holiday. They've been undisciplined defensively, getting themselves into foul trouble far too early. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. Stolen. Great reflexes to get a hand on that pass and go the other way with it. And he finishes nicely on the layup. Then how about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. Pass to Matthews. 
to the paint. Here's Lights Out. Great pass to set up the way in. Lights Out's got four points in the quarter. And I've been impressed with the unselfishness, but also getting guys the ball where they can do something with it. He is delivering a lot of room service times tonight. One sweet one after another. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Hey guys, well during the break I was able to catch the message the visiting team coach gave to his team. He said, look, you guys are playing physical and I like that, but it has to be under control. We've committed way too many fouls. We've allowed way too many foul shots. Kevin? Thanks, David. Vital basket there. This is just the time and really just the situation when he looks to take over. And you know that's right. I mean, he's looking to put his stamp all over this game. Back to Holiday. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Baseline try, and there are the Bucks with another bucket. Boy, what a sweet touch from the mid-range from Holiday. I like seeing him capitalize from this area of the floor. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here, Ed Solenbaum to Jacumbo. The kick out to Holiday. Here's Lights Out. Offline with his three. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. Confident and composed on the three-point shot at a critical juncture. And there's the pass to Matthews. Outside Holiday. Lopez left side. The fader. Shot is good off the back rim and in. And the Bucks lead by two. When you have a reliable big man like Lopez who can get you buckets like that, it's really such an asset for a team. Matthews with the steal. Giannis outside. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. You know, guys, sometimes that just happens, but you don't like to see it when the game is this close. Going to three-point range seven times tonight, knocked down five of them. Guarded by Holiday. One forty-four left in the fourth quarter of this one. Five to shoot. To one. Oh, how about the finesse there? Nice little gentle touch on the board. And you know, when you have that gentle touch, those tip ins are easy to come by. But only if you grind hard enough to get yourself in tight before the shot goes up, guys. You've got to get your work done before the shot is attempted. Here, the step back. Lights out, misses. Gone five of eight shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. Guarded by Holiday. To take the lead. Rebound by Brooke Lopez. For Milwaukee, they've gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Money! Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Cool, calm, collected, and confident. In the biggest moment of the game? Yes. And now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game. Giannis onto the Kumbo. You know, swatting down shot after shot, disrupting their offense. He kept their opponents off balance all night. He was a defensive menace, and they never found a way to deal with him. covering. Good D by Lopez. 
Yes, the White's out. Here's E.B. It falls! He has tied up this game. Oh, what a shot. Big time basket there on the inside. I mean, he had to get that one up and over the big guy. Way up and over the big guy. And what a time in the ball game to make it happen. Timeout called the Bucks. Thirty seconds left for the fourth. Down low. Lopez passes to Matthews. Unloads from 13. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Opportunity here. Yeah, chance to take the lead. This is huge. To take the lead. Got it! That's a nice play there. Not going to miss many from there. Timeout called the Bucks. They're down by two. Three seconds left to play in the final quarter. Lopez dishes to Holiday. Let's it fly from 18. And so the road team gets the W in this one. They break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. And, and Kevin, this is the kind of win you have to take a ton of pride.